Lucia, would you like to first of all introduce yourself? What's your name? My name is Ana Lucia Cuevas. I am originally from Guatemala, I have, but I have lived in the United Kingdom for 20 odd years. Brilliant. Uh, you have recently done a charity bike riding. Could you tell me a little bit about that? Uh, who was responsible for it, what is the purpose of it, and whether it's been successful, and if it has, how much money did you manage to raise? Yeah, I uh, recently, about uh, a month ago, on the, at the beginning of August, uh, mm -hmm. I took part in something called the Big Ride for Palestine, which is... Um, it's really it involves people that have an interest in cycling, but also wants to raise awareness of what is going on in Palestine mm -hmm. and raise money for for a particular charity that works with young girls in Palestine, uh, bringing them sports to alleviate a bit the the side effects of the trauma that they live. Uh, because they live under occupation from the Israeli state. Mm -hmm. So this is called the Big Right for Palestine. It's, this is the fourth year that happens. So okay. it started four years ago. And it has been growing with time. Uh, so we, we started about 180 cyclists in, wow. uh, in Cornwall, no in Cornwall, in um, Coventry. Uh -huh. We started in Coventry. Uh, so we gathered there uh, and we rode about 50 miles to the next town, which was uh, um, Luton. And then <laughs> it was a Luton. Okay. It was another town. Okay, uh, and then, and then uh, the, the following day, mm -hmm. we, ro we ride another 50 miles and we went to, into Luton. Okay. And then uh, we slept there, and then the third day, it was three days, we rode from Luton to London. Okay. Uh, during all this time, we had flyers, and so if people were watching us, we would stop and give them flyers. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, we also started, uh, people could donate money to support us. Yeah. Uh, you were one of them, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we had a lot, a lot of support this year. Fantastic. And uh, yeah, just a few days ago, they sent us a report that by the end of the October, we would uh -huh. have, re uh, we would have risen about forty thousand pounds. For forty thousand pounds yeah. is yeah. brilliant. Well yeah, done. Yeah, well yeah. done to all of you. Yeah. So that came as a result of. Three days hard work, yes. <laughs> bike riding, yeah. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Uh, how do you know how the money is going to be spent? Yes, it's um, we have a site on the on the, on the, uh, we have a website. It's uh, it it goes all into a project that works with young girls uh -huh. in Palestine. Yeah, they're going to they 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 invested to hire teachers. Or uh, to you to buy sport equipment for mm -hmm. girls. I mean, in there you can see the different. You know, if you give ten pounds, that will means they can do this and that. Okay. Yeah. And are they going to be like on that on this website? Are they going to be like pictures of people who've received help, so you get to be more involved or assured that the money is actually yeah, delivered? Yeah, yeah. Well, there's already a video there of of. Uh, of the girls doing different things, mm -hmm. you know, because they have sport events and yeah, you can, you, you, you have links there. Yeah. Right, in case there is anyone who's watching and is interested saying, oh, I want to be involved, yeah. what should they do? How could they get um, involved in this work? Well, it's, uh, if they type on the search, the, yeah. the big right for Palestine. The big right for Palestine, yeah. yeah. They will, will any engine search will take you to the information page, yeah. and then uh, obviously from now on, they will start. We will have a meeting next week, mm -hmm. on the twentieth of September. Yeah, uh, there is a big meeting here in Manchester mm -hmm. at the friend's house, 
Yeah. And we're, we're going to get together to have an evaluation of what we did, but also looking forward to the next year. Fantastic. Because obviously it takes a lot of organization. Yeah. Because, you know, uh, at the end of the ride, we were 200 people. Wow, so, brilliant. you know, to find accommodation to everyone, food yeah, for everyone. Sure. Yeah. We had uh, uh, doctors that went with us because they obviously, it's not, it's quite risky. So sure. we had a few people that fell and we had people that repair the bikes if they are, there's a problem. So we are starting again to to organize Fantastic. the next one. But it's, it's, I really, really, really enjoy it. Because you know, you know that you're doing something worthwhile, yeah, and yeah. the spirit between the people is very, it's really very. Everyone is very helpful. And, I can imagine that. Yeah. yeah, and the feeling when we went into London was yeah. amazing because we were all singing, and people were stopping, and it was really good. But I assume you got to be very fit to join in because it's quite a lot of physical work involved, isn't it? Yeah. Three days yeah. of something. Yeah, I mean, I. I'm not super fit, but you know, I did prepare for about two months before. Uh -huh. I do have a bike, I make sure that I have a reasonably, not expensive bike, but a, a bike that mm -hmm. works well. And you know, I started riding, so it, it was good because you know, it's a motivation because yeah. we know that we have to exercise. Yeah. So, but I started with, with short rides and but in any case, if you feel that at some point you cannot ride, mm -hmm. there are cars, there are vans okay. that, that travel with us, and yeah. you can put your bike there and just rest for some bits of it. So there's no pressure at all. Fantastic. And on your website, um, not your website, on this website that you introduced to us, the big ride for Palestine, yeah. um, are there any hints uh, in terms of if you want to be involved, how to get ready? Mm -hmm. You know what sort of uh, requirement is needed, yeah. that sort of thing. Well, they, they, because they really want everyone to come. Mm -hmm. uh, there are different levels, as, as I said, you know, you, you don't have... Obviously, you have to be able to ride, yeah, sure. because there are people that cannot ride a bike. Yeah. And just close to the day, they say that you have... It would be good if you can ride 10 miles mm -hmm. without stopping. Okay. And then, if you can do ten miles, you can do you can do it because yeah. it's true. Because you know, I was a bit worried when I went, but you do ten miles, uh -huh. and then you stop and you get your fitness back, and then you can sure. do another forty miles like that. Mm. But you know, it just yeah. we stop every ten miles. So fantastic. Um, I'm just thinking about the logistic of things when you have that many cyclists on the yeah. road. Yeah in terms of safety and everything, how does that work? Well, we have, there is a team of more um, confident riders. Uh -huh. That first, there is a group that define where our route is going to be. Yeah. And they have done that route a couple sure. of times. Uh, and these, these are very, very good cyclists. So what they do is that they, they go in advance mm -hmm. and they, they make sure they're pointing people where to go. In you know every so often they they t they're telling us how to where to go and uh, they're very they're very well organized to make sure that everyone knows uh, no one gets lost, lost. Yeah. yeah and it's quite safe in terms of it is, yeah. people who are there oh, yeah, looking yeah, after yeah. you yeah, fantastic yeah. Uh, Lucia you've done this for four years now as you said. Uh, I haven't done it. You I mean, haven't done it. Is no, it I've done was it, it the, the last first? two years. Okay, <laughs> you've done it for the past two years. So do you think it's worth it? Do oh, you recommend oh, yes. that to people? Yes, definitely. Definitely, because, um, well, I care a lot about what is going on in Palestine. I have for a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, and in addition to anything else that I can do, you know, because there's campaigns of support of Palestine, this one, it's, it combines the fact that I meet other people that are um, also very passionate about Palestine. Mm -hmm. And it gives me, it inspires me to take my bike and go out because otherwise it's, yeah, sure. it's a bit difficult. <laughs> and I definitely recommend it, yeah, you know. Fantastic. It's just amazing, yeah. 
Fantastic. Thank you very much for your time. Is there anything else that you would like to add? That... Maybe you can put a link uh -huh. on our blog. To yeah, the, sure. Definitely. To the yeah, definitely. Website. Yeah, we'll do that. You can go there and uh, also, you know, people can ask, can write directly to me if they want to be involved.